And Stacy, as you have mentioned, this is all about being outside. So areas like this behind me, the NFL experience and other downtown entertainment areas where there are a lot of crowds expected, that is where you can expect to see extra patrols. That's right. Super Bowl 55 also means super enforcement. It's all hands on deck for the city uh, staff. As tens of thousands of visitors flock to the Bay Area, city code enforcement says they'll be cracking down on things like this. Crowds of fans packed together, not a mask in sight. This is Tampa Bay's opportunity to dance on the world stage. Business is almost like doubled from what it uh, has been for the last few months. At Butters Burgers, business is booming. Proprietor Rob Wickner says so far customers are following the rules when it comes to wearing a mask, but around town... I don't see the people wearing them as probably as much as I expected to. According to the city, Tampa Police and the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office will be helping code enforcement officers crack down on people not following the city's mask ordinance both inside and outside. We're going to break down the entertainment areas uh, where the large crowds gather into zones and put people into geographical zones. This includes Super Bowl event areas, but the major focus will be on bars and restaurants known for crowds like Soho and Ebor. Uh, businesses still can get a citation, um, but yes, now with the new uh, order, uh, individuals uh, that don't want to refuse to adhere to it uh, can get a citation. So I'm told enforcement will really beef up starting Wednesday, but they're not necessarily going to be out handing out fines right away. They're going to be giving people masks. You might even be asked to leave if you don't want to comply. They tell me the last resort is to be fining folks, and those start at $150 for your first offense. Live in Tampa, Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.